This is... All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and play one more game with Nintendo Wii U as part of our Thanksgiving Day 2022 special. And we're going to play Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Tiger. Yeah, we're going to play Jeopardy, Tiger. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Alliteration allotment. Annual events. The Old Testament. Ancient history, 2006. Bloodsuckers. And out of this world. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. In basketball, this ball handling infraction will cost you possession. Player one? What is double dribble? Right you are. Please. A condition of low priority. In a cooking phrase, it usually follows on the... Okay, player one? What is back burner? Correct. You'll get a charge over this critter, an Amazon river dweller that can pack a 650 volt wallop. What is an electric eel? Let's hear it, player one. Right. Let's go over to Jimmy. Water vapor and ozone are two of these gases, collectively known as GHGs, which keep heat from escaping the atmosphere. Player one. What are greenhouse gases? Right. <laughs> you are, are, as a description in mail delivery. Yes, player one. What is rural route? That is correct. <laughs> player one. In February, he shot Harry Whittington, not his intended target. Okay, player one. Who is Dick Cheney? That is correct. <laughs> you get Discovery, and this legendary space shuttle went aloft. Okay, player one. What is uh, Atlantis? You are correct. In November, an Andy Warhol work depicting this Asian leader sold for more than $17 million. Okay, player one. Who is uh, Mao Zedong? That's right, way to go. <laughs> Please, this famous American passed away the day after Christmas at the age of 93. Okay, player one. You are correct. Player one. He led the French team to the finals of soccer's World Cup, only to be ejected after headbutting an Italian player. Let's hear it, player one. Who was um, Zinedine, er, uh, Zinedine Zidane? Right. 
please pick. This president loved oysters, and an annual oyster festival takes place in his hometown, Oyster Bay, Long Island. Player one. You got it. You conceived by store employees. This department store's beloved Thanksgiving Day Parade debuted in New York City in 1924. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! That's correct. <laughs> player Dolls one. representing the emperor and empress occupy a place of honor during this Asian country's girls' festival. It's player one. That's not it. Any other takers? It's player two. Aww. Nope. Anyone else? Yes, player three. Great. Where do we begin, player three? In 2005, during the annual festival named for him, a statue of this Roman god was dedicated in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Okay, player one. Sorry. Any other takers? It's player three. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. That is correct. Good. Back on the plus side. Player two, you start us off. Answer. It's the Daily Double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. Please enter your wager. And the Daily Double Clue. Don't miss the pie-eating contest at this Northwest State's Apple Blossom Festival in Wenatchee. Sorry, that's wrong. Here's the correct response. Washington. You again, player two. This book says Noah's Ark was 300 cubits in length, making it about 500 feet long. Player one. Yeah. Good. Player Jacob one. and this other twin son of Rebecca even struggled against each other in their mother's womb. Yes, player one. Correct. <laughs> player in one. Samuel 28, the prophet Samuel appears to King Saul and predicts his defeat by this group. It's player one. That's correct. Yeah. Woo. So according to the Bible, she was not only Abraham's wife, she was also his half-sister. Yes, player one? That's correct. Yeah. Woo. You, Deuteronomy may mean second law, but it's this number book of the Old Testament. Player one? Yeah! yeah. Player one, Shadow of the Vampire, details the production of this 1922 F.W. Murnau film. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! You are correct. Player the Corys go after vampires in this 1987 film. Let's hear it, player one. Good. In 2012, Kate Beckinsale returned as Celine in the fourth installment of this Vampire vs. Lycan series. It's player one. Right. We return. The one name they all fear was a tagline for this 2004 blockbuster that starred Hugh Jackman. It's player one. Yep. 
Player one. In 2002, Aaliyah played this royal from Anne Rice's Vampire Menagerie. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. Player one. The gravitational pull of this object is the main force holding the solar system together. Let's hear it, player one. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. The sun. Player one. Galileo was the first person to see the rings around this planet. Player one. Yes. Player Not one. the first, but this second planet is the hottest because its atmosphere causes a severe greenhouse effect. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> Player one. The comet named for him was last seen in the skies in 1986 and won't return until 2061. Okay, Player one. Yes. <laughs> and here's the thousand dollar clue. Like Pluto, Haumea and Makemake are designated as this kind of planet. Yes, yes, player one. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> the selection will be yours, player two, when we return from this break. Categories for the double jeopardy round are statues, science. Baseball franchise shifts. Which president's cabinet? Title possessions. And old, odd, and obscure words. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. In 1958, the Dodgers and this team moved west to California. Player one. You are correct. <laughs> Player the Braves spent 82 seasons in Boston and more than 40 in Atlanta, with a 13-season stop in this city. Okay, Player One. Yes. In 1955, the Philadelphia Athletics moved to this city, where they remained for 13 seasons. It's Player One. No. Anyone else? We're talking about Kansas City. You get after the 1960 season, the Washington Senators left the capital and headed west to this town. Player one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Player one. In 1972, the new Washington Senators moved west and became this team. Okay, player one. Nope. Any other takers? It's player two. Yes! That's it. Hey, you're on the plus side. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. There's no beating around this archaic term for a wine shop or tavern. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. 
It really burns me up that febrific means having one of these. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you! Player one? Answer. The first of the day doubles. And you have the lead. How much are you going to win? Clue. Lacrimiform literally means shaped like this. You have maintained your lead. Here we go. Player one. A thurible is an ornamental container in which this is burned during a religious ceremony. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. <laughs> You get Winston Marsalis should know that to bisonate means to blow this horn, his specialty. Player one? Yeah, good. Player one, pick again. It's the weakest of the four basic forces, but it's strong enough to keep the moon orbiting the Earth. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. Jimmy? A cubic inch of material contains a million, billion, billion of these, each with protons and neutrons in its nucleus. Okay, player one. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> so changes in the tropospheric layer of this are what give us weather. Okay, player one. Correct. We have to test deep water structures. Wave tanks generate waves, wind, and this water flow from the Latin for running. Okay, player one. Right. Please. The name of this eighth element is from a Greek word meaning sharp. It's player one. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> player one. The sower atop Nebraska's state capital in this city is tossing seeds to the Great Plains 400 feet below. Okay, player one. Right. Blue Earth, Minnesota has a definitely giant 55-foot statue of this pea pusher. Okay, player one. Yeah, good. <laughs> you, Sam Houston stands 67 feet tall along Interstate 45 in this state. Yes, player one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We, here's Jimmy. A statue of this discoverer of Florida stands near the street named for him in St. Augustine. Okay, player one. Yep. <laughs> you. <laughs> so, the second daily double. You are in first place. Please add the clue. In 2003, a statue of this man was pulled down just a year after it had gone up to mark his 65th birthday. You have maintained your lead. Here you go. Player one of Henry Adams. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> player of one. Edwin Drood. Okay, player one. Nope. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player three. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Correct. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player two. Make a Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. 
Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Player one. Secretary of State Dean Rusk. Both JFK and him. It's player one. Yes. Player one. Secretary of Education William Bennett. Secretary of State George Schultz. It's player one. You are correct. <laughs> Select Secretary of Labor, George Schultz. Attorney General, John Mitchell. Player one. Good. Secretary of the Interior, James R. Garfield. Secretary of War. William Howard Taft. Okay, player one. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Nope. Anyone else? Okay, player three. Right you are, on the plus side again. Player three, make a selection please as we continue. Of Nat Turner. Okay, player one. That's not it. Anyone else? Okay, player two. Correct. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we of Duddy Kravitz. It's player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. The apprenticeship. And now the $2,000 clue of young Werther. It's player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player two. No. Anyone else? Okay, player three. Correct. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Player two, you'll not be progressing to Final Jeopardy. So much depends on how you do in the Final Jeopardy category, which today is... Sports Business. What are you going to wait? Our final Jeopardy clue today is, in 1993, this man said, what Phil and Nike have done is turn me into a dream. What did you say? How much do you add to your total? So I'm gonna end up with $100,000 this game, and I'll see you all for another one right after this. And your response? With that correct response, you will gain. Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You're the winner. So long.